Welcome back. You may know Zoe Saldana for all her popular acting roles now, but as a little girl growing up in the Dominican Republic, her passion was ballet. Though she eventually gave up on learning that particular form of dance, her training was integral to her performances with the Faces Theatre Group in Brooklyn. After her performance in a production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Zoe was recruited by a talent agency and by 2000, she was acting in centre stage. Afterwards, she had several roles in movies and television shows, but her breakthrough role came in Avatar. Since then, she's been involved in many highly recognised movie projects while acting though. She was always aware that she was at risk of Hashimoto's disease because it affected her mother, grandmother and sisters. Still, she noted in an interview with the edit that she wasn't prepared for her official diagnosis in her 20s. Zoe has been managing her disease with the help of her doctor and living a healthy lifestyle. Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system attacks the thyroid and affects the quantities of hormones the gland produces. The disease usually results in an underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, but in some cases, it makes the thyroid gland overreactive, hyperthyroidism. The effect of Hashimoto's disease can be varied between can be varied because the thyroid hormones control the way almost every organ in the body uses energy. Before giving a diagnosis of Hashimoto's disease, your doctor will first need to determine if there is a problem with your thyroid. To do this, they will discuss your symptoms and check if your thyroid is enlarged. If there are reasons for concern, they will recommend further tests. First, you will do blood tests to check the level of certain thyroid hormones with the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH test. High levels of hormone usually indicates that you are dealing with hypothyroidism. The diagnosis can be confirmed with a free T4 test. Thanks for listening.